Well, hello everybody from Seoul, South Korea. Zach Campbell here at the Go Chiuk Sky Dome for the MLB opening series, Dodgers versus Padres. And these games count for the regular season. Now, let me show you some shots that I got approaching the stadium and outside this place while I continue to tell you some stuff. This will be my 63rd Major League Stadium that I've ever been to, and I have snagged at least one baseball at all of the other 62. This is also going to be Shohei Otani's very first game with the Dodgers, and of course, Yoshinobu Yamamoto is here as well. He'll be pitching in tomorrow's game. Now, there's an interesting setup outside the stadium here as far as people getting their tickets and being able to enter. Basically, security is trying to prevent people from reselling tickets. So I'm in this huge area right here on this interesting kind of astroturf field with all these barricades where you have to line up, present your ID proving that you are the one who bought the ticket. Then we're gonna get a wristband and be able to enter the stadium for batting practice. It's really early right now, more than an hour and a half until Till we'll be heading into those tents. So you can see that there are people already lined up sitting on the ground and this whole area behind me is probably going to be packed by the time the line starts moving. So you know just one of the things that I love about going to major league games at other venues and in other countries is just seeing how different it is and how things are run. So this is really great and I'm excited to get to share it with you. And last thing for now, there are commemorative baseballs that will be used during these games. Probably not during batting practice, so hopefully either today or tomorrow I'll find a way to snag one. But anyway, enough talking for now and we'll see how this whole thing plays out from here. <laughs> 경기장 바라보시고 언덕 아래쪽 보시면 오른쪽으로 가는 아, 이제 꼭 숙제하시고 오이. 대기 부탁드리겠습니다. 오, 자석이야? 땡큐. 고맙습니다. 뛰지 마세요. 뛰지 마세요. 자, 천천히 올라오세요. 하겠습니다. Well, all right, the Padres are out on the field, so I have switched into their baseball cap, and I'm hoping that my videographer gets inside this place, I don't know, at some point. This is uh, kind of a logistical mess, but I am here, baby! I'm here! Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Adrian Morejon, if I'm pronouncing it right. That is who tossed me this baseball, so I am on the board here at the Gochiuk Sky Dome. Love it. Toss it up, any chance? Thank you, I appreciate it. That second baseball that I got was tossed by Jackson Merrill, who is all of 20 years old until next month. Man, these guys are really crushing the ball. Here comes one. Little short, little short. Oh, wow. That 10 feet short of me. Damn. I kind of feel like this walkway up here might be the place to be. I mean, it's a long way, but yeah, Manny Machado's in this group. He can do it, that's for sure.
Hier ist Fabino. The right field seats, as you can see, are pretty crowded and the Dodgers pitchers are playing catch along the right field foul line. So the Dodgers should start to hit soon. And again, I'm hoping that my videographer gets inside the stadium. It's hard to film and catch baseballs at the same time. And I feel like I'm doing a crappy job at both. But uh, again, just so much fun to be here. Even if I don't get another ball today, I will still be a very happy person. My videographer is here. Ah, and I've switched my hat because, you know. So, all right, you're on. Dodgers BP is underway, and you know who I do not see out there taking any cuts? This guy right here, Mr. Otani, by the way, shout out to New Balance for sending this shirt. Man, if he were hitting, this place would go nuts, of course. He'd be launching balls into the second deck. He'd be hitting them through the roof. Who knows? So that's kind of a bummer. Is this guy going to toss one? Oh, shoot. So I noticed that everybody who was hitting in the Dodgers final group was right-handed. So I moved from right field over to left field, had a little bit of room out in the bleachers. And although I did not snag a home run ball there, I did get on the board one last time. I got to play catch for just a moment with a kid out there. Not sure if he was a coach's son or one of the ball boys, but he let me keep that ball and he seemed to know who I am. So that was really cool. And so I finished batting practice with five balls, then took a few minutes to catch up with some of my fans out here in South Korea. It's really cool how my videos are viewed by people all over the world. I really appreciate that. And so for right now, just because it's less noisy here, I'm in the concourse behind center field. You can see what it looks like and follow me this way. This is one of the entrances. So it's kind of chill for the moment. Of course, I'm like, I'm all hyped up just from the excitement of being here. I've been sleeping like crap. So I'm sure there are gonna be comments like, Zach, you look old. It's been a rough off season, right? Get some sleep. Well, it's kind of true. So, uh, hello. So I want to wander the stadium, maybe go into foul territory, who knows what, maybe find some food, although the lines look crazy long if you follow me back this way. Um, 
Yeah, I guess there's a lot of hungry people here at the dome. So yeah, we'll just wander and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Benny Bang Bang! Oh, Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Wanna feed me a bite of your hot dog? Absolutely not. <laughs> Wanna feed me a bite of my hot dog? We, we should eat it from opposite ends and meet <laughs> in the middle. That was an outstanding ceremony right there for the very first MLB game ever in South Korea. And I am once again out here in the concourse just because they are blasting music in the seating bowl and I want you guys to hear me. So first pitch is just a few minutes away and I am officially on third out ball duty. I really want to get one of those commemorative baseballs. If you recall, last year in Mexico City, I spent the whole first game in the outfield and I thought, eh, I'll go for the commemorative in the second game. And then I was stressed out of my mind. It took me all game to get one. So I would love to get on the board with a gamer ASAP. And if that happens, then I guess I'll head to the outfield and try to catch a dinger. Yeah, that was not a good top of the first inning. Shohei, unfortunately, bounced into a fielder's choice, and then I tried my luck in the front row of the upper deck, but that baseball was tossed into the 100 level seats where I would prefer to be, but all of my friends are down there going for it, so I'm being nice, I'm giving them the right of way. I'm gonna try the Dodgers side now, maybe give it a couple innings up here, and if it really sucks, then I'll probably go downstairs myself. First baseman, number nine, Jake Robinworth. somewhere else and we'll talk about this. Holy crap. Holy crap. I love the Dodgers. That was Mookie Betts who threw the ball. It was a strikeout. I don't even know who struck out but Tyler Glasnow is on the mound and Will Smith the catcher chucked it you know to the infielders and Mookie Betts threw it to me so that's how that went down. I'll give you an even closer look at the logo right here so you can really see everything it says MLB World Tour Soul Series 2024. I mean, I wish that they had more of a logo with artwork rather than just text, but 
you know, unfortunately that's the trend for commemorative logos now, but it doesn't take away my excitement, as you guys could see, in snagging this ball. So, I feel like I should actually go watch some of the game now. So I'm gonna change back into my neutral outfit. I guess go to the outfield, maybe find some food. I'm starving. What was I saying earlier about being tired? I feel like I could run a marathon right now. Oh my God. Mr. Otani had a much better third inning. He hit a rocket of a single to right field, then stole second base, and unfortunately got stranded with the bases loaded. But that was cool to see his first hit ever with the Los Angeles Dodgers. And so right now, bottom of the third, there is no score. And I am in the outfield, as you can see, with this terrible fence blocking my view. I have to sit very upright, very erect, if you will, in order to see over that. Not a ton of space to move around. This, this first row is a little bit wider than the standard rows, but there's just a lot of clutter and stuff, and I feel like if, if someone hits a ball, little chin music right there for Tyler Wade. If someone hits one, everybody's gonna jump up, so I don't think I'm gonna have much range, but this is a cool spot for right now. It is packed, there are no empty seats. Yeah, I think it's probably just gonna be this for uh, the next little while. And the Republic of Korea and United States Alliance. scoring game. The crowd here is fired up. That's always fun to see. Shohei is now one for four and we are in the top of the seven. Padres are up two to one and still chilling here in the first row. Zero home runs have been hit so my goal of catching the very first South Korean home run. I mean it could still happen but these guys need to do something. I knew the Padres were in trouble after Gavin Lux, the ninth place hitter for the Dodgers, reached on an error in the top of the eighth. Why? Because, well, the next three hitters at the top of the lineup are all MVPs. And sure enough, Mookie and Shohei followed with RBI singles to put LA on top five to two. And by the way, the third MVP is Freddie Freeman. So this is truly a frightening offense. Now, for the last inning or so of the game, I hung out at the back of the section with my friend Benny, and in the middle of the ninth, I stumbled into one last bit of action, courtesy of Dodger center fielder James Outman, who chucked his warm-up ball deep into the seats. 
Now, I'm not sure if there was a good shot of where that ball came down, but I was the one who caught it and it really did feel good because sometimes things can feel like a massive struggle, but other times it just works out and feels easy. And today was a little bit of everything for me and I suppose that's also true for the teams here with the lead changing late in the game. Final score, Dodgers five, Padres two. And this might sound crazy, but I would not be surprised if LA wins 120 games this year. Yeah, you just wait and see. But man, looking past the results for a moment, what a fun day. Nothing but good vibes here. People in South Korea are so chill and respectful in general and everyone was really into the game, so that was fun to see. Ooing and aahing nonstop at the action. And I am just extremely happy to report that my two close friends here from New York, Benny and Greg, also succeeded in getting the commemorative balls. So we will all sleep well tonight, though, for the record, not together, unfortunately. And as for me, I'm bundled back up with my jacket. It's freezing outside. It was kind of a pain to carry this around. It's like 30 degrees outside right now. But yeah, this is one last look at the commemorative baseball. So I got seven total today, including the ones I gave away because they all count for the lifetime total. That number is now 12,419. Check the description for this video. I'll throw a link there to a page on my website where I show all the different commemorative baseballs that I've gotten going back to the 1990s. And there might be some other stuff for you to check out in the description as well. So this was amazing. Guys, do yourself a favor, do me a favor and subscribe. This is just the first of many, many games at many, many stadiums that I'm gonna be at this year. I gotta go, I'm the last one here. I can see security lurking there, but they've all been great. So, and I'll be back tomorrow for the second game here.